Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As always, I'm your host, Ersoft Al, and welcome to the first rapid fire review of 2022 for media reviews. And. Oh boy, okay, so. I wanted to debate whether or not I wanted the rapid fire review to be done, or at least be on something. But I recently did all eight chapters, basically just fucking barrage them to Devil of a Devil of a Wizard. And Devil of a Wizard is what happens when Lucifer, or at least Lucy, his wife Lilith, the Queen of All Monsters, basically finds Harry Potter after his house is destroyed and he's attacked by Voldemort. Now, before I continue, if, the, if for those of you who are thinking this is going to be a bashing story, or at least this is going to point out some hypocrisy of the wizarding world, much like D Wars, uh, hell of a wizard. No, it's it's not. Um. It's definitely taking the more calm route of more or less they know who the devil is and Dumbledore does not want to deal with the fucking devil or at least does not want to piss off the devil. Um, another thing is that the story does not contain any sort of Wizarding World bashing as of yet. We're still on the Sorcerer's Stone. And if by chapter two, or if by the book two, if by uh, the Chamber of Secrets... We start seeing more of that hell of a boss cynicalness, uh, that sort of hell of a boss just do not give a shit, or not really hell, hell of a boss, has been hotel, not giving a shit, and basically pointing out all the things wrong with this and actually fixing the problems, then and only then will I say, yeah, now we're taking a serious stance, and now we're basically fixing the problem with a hellish solution. Because again, Harry is now the son, the prince of hell itself. The son of the ruler of hell, with his very large, very sexy wife. Oh yes, Lilith is waifu material, very big devil mummy milkers material, mm, yes. Either way though, <laughs> I will say this though, that it actually is a pretty fun read. It, there is, of course, a lot of things where it's obvious the author is taking a slow amount with it. It's very obvious the author is not wanting to go into the bashing. I wish he would. I wish he would at least do a little bit of critiquing against the Wizarding World. He did at least give a little bit of that in the latest chapter, Chapter 8, where we see Imp actually kind of complain about how easy it is to kill wizards because they're stuck in that time period. Unless, of course, there's the few who actually... Yeah, you know exactly who they are. But, again, there's just so much to it that could be done. There's so much to it that I wish, actually, I wish the author would take a little bit more initiative on it in terms of actually critiquing the Wizarding World, in terms of actually exploring the wider Wizarding World. Because, so far, Britain is all we've ever seen. We never really do see the rest of the Wizarding World. Is is basically America, you know, more advanced or anything of that nature. You know, just, just one of those things. Or even, is America part of the Wizarding World and not, you know, completely fucking isolated from the rest of the Wizarding World except for, you know, the ones they fucking conquered in, world, in, in two world wars and several other conflicts. But you know what I mean. I mean, I'd love to see that. I would love to see this author explore that element. I'd love to see Harry get more of that cynical, devilistic nature of his father and mother who are both rulers of hell. And while, yes, the optimistic side of Charlie is a good thing, at the same time, you know what I'm saying here. But either way, though, it's still a good read, even if you don't get your daily dose of bashing. If you don't get your, your daily nihilism of the Wizarding World, or that sort of nihilistic point of view... And again, it's entertaining, it's fun, it's legitimately good, and I would recommend it. Uh, so if you guys want to check this out yourself, go to the link down below in the pinned comment to read this one yourself. And if you guys... Uh, <sighs> want to join me and other authors... Consider going to the pinned comment down below through the Discord. And if you want to help support this video and future videos like it, consider donating to our PayPal as well. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Airsoft Down, and I will see you all in the next rapid fire review. Till next time. Later.